How's it going viewers? Thank you guys for watching my video. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to turn on and set an alarm on a Samsung Galaxy S5. And for those of you that are familiar with the Samsungs, Samsung Galaxy S4 and the S5 are slightly different. Uh, one of the things that are different is the widgets location. On the S4 if you select apps you would see on the top a widgets and an apps tab. As you can see that is no longer there on the S5. What you want to do is go to a home screen that has available room for an app or a widget and press and hold down. It will then take you to a screen that looks like this. On the bottom you will see wallpapers, widgets, and home screen settings. Once you are there select the widgets and from the widgets page you can scroll through and find the one that has alarm. My alarm one is on the first page and I'm going to go ahead to select it is press down and hold. There's a slight vibration and it gives you the drag and drop option of putting the app or the app or the widget wherever you want. I'm going to go ahead and drop it here on this page on the top. And from here it says tap here to add alarm. And go ahead and do that. As you can see there's one of them that had been set or uh, used on the phone. And then the other ones are not on. They're not uh, currently active. To set the alarm I'm just going to go ahead and use the bottom one here. It will take you back out to your home page from here. The alarm is not yet set. What you want to do is click it and edit your alarm. If the 7.45 time works, that's good. And you can select whichever. Um, you can use the arrows up and down to select the time that you desire. There is an AM and PM option. Um, the next thing below is the days of the week, Sunday through Saturday. Um, you can select the days that you want the alarm to go off. This one will go off Saturday and Sunday. Um, and if there's a repeat weekly, if you do not want it to repeat, just use select it that way. If you want it to repeat every week, you select the repeat weekly. Um, the next thing down is alarm type. If you want just the sound, you select that one. Just the vibration, that one, and vibrate and sound, you would select that. So I selected the vibrate and sound. Next one down is the alarm tone. This is the music that will be playing if you had selected a music option on the previous um, setting. And from here you select the, the alarm, you set the alarm music or the alarm tone that you want to play. Next thing down is the volume of the alarm that will go off. So you go ahead and select that. The next thing down is the alarm. There's the intervals, the amount of time um, between each snooze and then this is how many times it will snooze or how many times it will repeat. So once you have that set you can hit save. Next thing down is smart alarm. It will start the alarm a little bit sooner than than it regularly would go off. It start off kind of quiet and then it will build up as it goes. You can go ahead if you want to select that. Um, also gives you intervals and the tone um, if you do select this one, it will override the other alarm, so just keep that in mind. I will not be using it, so I'm going to hit cancel. And down here, name of the alarm. You know, and you just type in whatever you want the alarm to be. So you hit done, and it gives you the alarm. This is what you have so far set for your alarm. The alarm is not set. In order to set it, what you want to do in the top right corner is hit save. And once it saves, you will see that the alarm 6.40 in the morning, Saturday and Sunday repeats weekly, the name, and then the alarm. If you want to, if you have the alarm set and you don't want to go in there to turn off the repeat weekly, it's just for that one week, you can deselect the alarm by doing that and it will turn off the alarm. And if you have it turned off and you want to turn it on, you just go ahead and select it like that. So that is where you can find your alarm in the widgets uh, tab. And this is how you set alarm on a Samsung Galaxy S5. And one more thing I'd like to kind of go over is I have not yet found a way to set multiple alarms on one widget. So the way I do it, I just pull another widget out and set a different time for if you have two different alarms that you need set for that week. So that is the settings. If someone has found a way to add it on one, you can go ahead and post it in the comment section below. You can also post any comments, questions, or concerns you guys may have in the comment section below. I will try to answer that as soon as I can. And thank you guys for watching this video. Hope, hope you found it helpful. Please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a nice day.